Now we're going to go through how to create a backup of your company file. All right, now this is not a backup of your computer, right, like a Carbonite or anything like that. This is not that service. This is inside of QuickBooks performing an action called a backup. Okay, so a backup is very important to do frequently. A couple things, reasons why you want to do that. First of all, when you look at any QuickBooks file, right, so if you go in and you look at your QuickBooks file and you see you have your QBW file, here's your actual company file, and then you have your data source name, you have your ND file, and you have your TLG log. Okay, So this TLG log is basically your transaction log, and it keeps track of all the transactions that are going into your database, right, so up here. And when you do a backup in QuickBooks, it clears this TLG log, okay, which it's supposed to do. So if you notice that your company file is running kind of slow, that's one thing that you may want to do is run the backup and see if it improves the speed. All right. So inside of QuickBooks, we also have down here on the side, I have it in HD quality so it's hard to see, we also have in Enterprise our backup status. So in QuickBooks Enterprise, you get online backup for free. I think it's up to 10 gigs or something like that. And that is also different, right? This is a different status than um, doing the backup inside the file. So this is saying the last time you backed it up online onto the Intuit backup service server, that's the last time it was backed up. Okay. Um, or I'm sorry, that's the online backup here, but the local backup obviously you can see is up top here. All right. So how do we back up? We go to File, whoops, and Backup Company. Okay, you can also say Create Copy to do a backup, but we're going to go ahead and say Create Local Backup. All right, so here's where we choose: Are we doing the backup online, right? Doing it into the into it uh, online server, or are we doing it local? We're going to say local. I always suggest looking at your options at least the first time you do a backup. So I'm going to click on options here. I'm going to say, where do I want to save my backup? I'll just do it on my desktop for now. There is an option here to add the date and time of the backup to the file name. Definitely leave that checked, right? So you know, I did this backup on, you know, November 1st, 2015 at 6 p.m. And then I have another one at 6.30. You obviously want to use the one that is the latest. And then you can also say to limit the number of backup copies in, in this folder, right? So if it gets above, I don't know, 10 in the folder, warn me and delete the, you know, when I, when I go to, to uh, create the 11th, delete that first one that I made. Okay, so it just helps us to make sure that we don't bog down our servers. We don't have to keep every single backup for, you know, two years in there. That's just going to give you storage that you don't need to store things there. All right, online and local backup. Remind me to backup every four times I close the company file. Okay, you can choose every three times, every time. So anytime you close out of QuickBooks, it'll warn you, hey, do you want to do a backup? Complete verification. For our customers, I always say leave complete verification on. All right. That way it'll go through, and there are other videos on you know, what uh, verifying your data means, but that way it'll go through and make sure that there aren't any problems in your database. So it helps you maintain a healthy database. If there are issues, you know, give us a call. QuickBooks has a, a new service that we'll talk about in another video um, that helps you to go through that verify and rebuild process a little bit easier. You can choose quicker verification, it just goes through a little bit less, or no verification. When we're doing a lot of troubleshooting in files, we'll choose no verification because we just want to get the backup to happen, right, without verifying the data. We want a backup of before we fix the data, and then we want to, you know, be able to compare that to after we fix the data. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that. And we say next. All right, so now again, save it now. We have the option to save it now and schedule future backups. OK, 
okay, which we'll go through that one. Or you can just go in there to schedule your future backup. So this is for it to happen automatically, right, overnight. Okay, so when we're scheduling our future backup, we want to save the backup copy automatically when you close the file, every three times, whatever that is. We can have options here, again, where we decide where we're going to save it. All right, we can add a schedule for backing it up. So let's say backups. Okay, again, browse for the location where we want these to happen. Number of copies to keep, same thing. So this is when they're doing a backup copy when everybody's out, right? 2 a.m., something like that. Start time, 2 a.m., run this task every one week, right? Or you can say every two weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks. If you're going to do this, I suggest making the number of backup copies a little bit higher, right? 10 maybe, and doing it maybe two to three times a week, okay? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then we can also store the password, okay, so that the backup can run during the scheduled time. So it would log in as me, and I have that password um, so that I can run the backup without me there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say cancel here. Oops. All right. So now that I have the scheduled backup, um, I can go in and say finish. Now it's going through and verifying my data integrity. Okay, so that was that. Do I want to perform verification? Then it goes through and backs up my data file. All right, so it says I have saved a copy of the back, you know, backup copy of your file here on the desktop. Backup copies are a QBB extension, so that's how you know it's a backup copy. A couple things to note with backups, right? There are there is some data that doesn't come with the backup, like attachments don't carry in the backup file, but you we do have ways that you can move attachments, right, as well. Um, also. Uh, things like if you're using the fixed asset manager, it doesn't come with the backup, right? So there's little things that you just have to be aware of. So if you are transferring this data to somebody else who is going to restore the data and use it moving forward, you know, maybe contact your pro advisor or contact us to make sure that you are moving everything appropriately and you don't lose any links to things that, you know, sit in the folder um, next to your company file. Okay, that is how to back up your QuickBooks company file.